Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. In today's video, we will uncover books made with human flesh, a witch's island, a cave notorious for human sacrifices, and many more important archaeological discoveries. 13,000-year-old human remains Some marine biologists, while swimming in an underwater cave, spotted a dead body of a teenage girl. Sure, at first they didn't think much of it, but after some analysis, it was revealed that the girl was over 13,000 years old. She was named Naya. Archaeologists speculated that the teenage girl may have gotten lost in a cave looking for water and likely fell to her death in a deep, dark pit. Now, her remains are shining a light on the genetic heritage of what we believe are the very first people in the Americas. Researchers have discovered Naya's bones in a pit in an underwater cave system in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. She comes from a group of ancient people anthropologists call Paleo-Americans. Surprisingly, underneath the water, the caves were absolutely dry. She plummeted 190 feet into a pit where she died almost instantly. The Ulfbrit Swords Vikings were among the most feared warriors of all time, so they had the chance to fight with one of the best blades of their era, known as the Ulfbert, made of crucible steel. About 170 medieval swords found in Europe, dating from the 9th to 11th centuries, with blades engraved with this inscription, plus V-L-F-B-E-R-H-T plus. The origin of this word is unknown. Nobody knows the meaning behind it. What is the most intriguing thing is that they were made of metal so pure that these swords still baffle weapon experts today, who wonder what technology was used at that time to produce such high quality blades. Ulfbert was strong, but also light and flexible, making it the perfect weapon for melee combat. Metal Torture Mask I don't know about you guys, but I have always been curious about medieval torture techniques and stuff. No, I am not suffering from anything. It's just that the topic is so intriguing. Well, our dear archaeologists have discovered the Skold's Bridle, an instrument that was used in torture. Many people think that it was used for women declared as witches. Well, it was used for more than that. Women who were declared blasphemous, promiscuous, and rebellious against the church were subjected to it. Husbands also used them to teach their nagging wives a lesson. They had to wear this nasty metal mask and parade around the village so that everybody would shame them. Some even had a bell on the top so that more people would notice. This heavy metallic mask used to inflict excruciating pain on its victim as it used to put a lot of pressure on the woman's head. The first use of the Skold's bridle was recorded in the 1500s, and after a while spread to other European countries like England, Germany, etc. Evil Maya Cave, Mexico Only a few people know the mysteries and folklore around the stunning sinkholes and the amazing caves and rivers beneath the Riviera Maya. These caves are scandalous because it was rumored that the Mayans used to perform human sacrifices down there. The place was very sacred to the Mayans. Locals residing near the caves don't let their children wander near them because of the immense fear they have of these evil caves till today. The sinister rumor was proved to be true when a team of divers and researchers went to search for them. They found many human skeletons scattered in the cave with several Mayan relics. They were curious as to how they perform these rituals as the path to the cave is quite difficult to reach. Underwater Fossil Graveyard Researchers say they found the largest single collection of lemur remains, potentially dating back thousands of years, hidden in a series of underwater caves in a remote desert region of Madagascar. These bones aren't damaged in any way. These harsh conditions led to the spectacular preservation of fossils, but also prevented human exploration. What's tragic is that these creatures survived the thawing of the last ice age but not the arrival of humans. The region was named the Lemur Graveyard, and it contains no less than hundreds of potentially thousand-year-old skeletal remains of lemurs. It has been declared an important site to understand the relationship between humans, marine, and other land animals. World's Oldest Clothes There are never enough clothes, right? 
Well, let's take you where it all started. Weaving clothes was an important step for human civilization. The Tarkin dress was the oldest woven garment in human history. It was discovered in a tomb in 1912 and was named after the Tarkin Cemetery, south of Cairo in Egypt. The carbon dating revealed that it was dated to be around 2362 BCE, which makes it over 5,000 years old. After spending five millennia in an Egyptian tomb, the dress was sent to the Flinder Petrie by archaeologists in the early 1900s. Not until conservation experts sorted through the bundle in 1977 did they stumble across the garment. The main body of the dress was a 76 centimeter wide straight piece of material. The hem of the dress is missing, leaving the original length unknown. The dress is in very good condition considering how old it is. I guess ripped clothes were part of fashion too back then. Bullet coins. I will never understand the people who collect coins as a hobby. But then again, many turn out to be worth quite some dimes. Thailand has a history of some of the most bizarre coins. Bullet money, or bullet coins known in Thai as Phot Duong, were a type of coinage historically used in Som, which was Thailand before Thailand existed. They were almost exclusively made of silver in the form of a bar bent into a roundish shape and stamped with certain marks. This form of money played a very important role in the Thai monetary system for more than 500 years before the modern flat coinage replaced it. As they took long periods to be made and required more silver than a flat coin. Well, they look pretty cool. I hope they will start making them again. The Black Sarcophagus in July 2018, archaeologists in Egypt revealed that they had found something utterly creepily, yet interesting, in the city of Alexandria. A massive 30-ton black granite sarcophagus. It was discovered on a construction site, and what raised all the eyebrows was that it was the largest stone coffin ever to be found in the city. Well, the internet speculation ran wild after this as the people started suggesting that it was cursed opening it could lead to the end of the world, or that the massive tomb contained a super mummy. But alas, many got disappointed when the coffin was opened, as it revealed three normal human bodies floating in a soup of red sewage. But then again, one can't control the wild minds of conspiracy theorists, as several claim that the authorities should let people drink the red liquid from the dark sarcophagus in order to have secret powers. The bodies include one woman and two men who appear to have been deposited at different times and stacked on top of one another. Still, it's a pretty cool discovery. 2,000-year-old butter. Let's tell you a little story. A man named Jack Conway of Ireland was working in a bog, cutting turf, when he came across something peculiar. Well, it was a massive chunk of butter. Yeah, just like you guys at first, he didn't think much of it, but his curiosity forced him to contact a local museum and then analyze the dairy discovery. It was revealed that the 22 pounds lump of butter was in fact shockingly more than 2,000 years old. There are many speculations as to why it was buried so deep. Some think it was buried so deep in the soil indicates that it might have been buried as an offering or a ritual to the gods to keep land and animals safe in the past. What's even more mind-boggling is that it is edible, even after 2,000 years! It was due to the preservative environment of the bog, which includes low temperatures, low oxygen, and a highly acidic habitat. A nine-year-old discovered ancient fossils. Some archeologists spend years and years in search of something important, but destiny laughs at them. This is exactly what happened when a nine-year-old boy from Mexico accidentally tripped over something. He was hiking in the desert with his parents and thought that it was a carcass of a rotten cow. His family, however, got suspicious and reached out to a New Mexico State professor. After excavation, it was revealed that it was a fossilized skull of a 1.2 million year old stegomastodon, an extinct animal that belongs to the same family as elephants, mammoths, etc. What a lucky stroke! Here, when I was nine, all I did was get tripped by the soccer ball. Hoxney Horde 
Have you guys heard the tale about the man who lost his hammer but in turn found a goddamn treasure? Yeah, this happens with people, but not to us. We can only find pennies. The story started in 1992 when a man named Eric Laws lost his hammer in the farmland. The man searched for his tool for a long time, but couldn't seem to trace it. Well, he could have bought a new one. Uh, my attitude is the sole reason why I'm not a millionaire. He then brought the metal detector from his storeroom that he was gifted to him on his retirement. The gift turned out to be darn lucky. He started searching for his lost hammer. Some later, during the search for his metal detector, picked a rather strong signal and started beeping continuously. The man, of course, got relieved, thinking that he found his lost hammer. But what he discovered was far more precious than a simple hammer. After discovering a bunch of gold coins and precious artifacts, he called the local authorities. And after the whole excavation, it was revealed that he stumbled upon nearly 60 pounds of gold and silver objects, including 15,234 Roman coins, dozens of silver spoons, and 2,000 gold objects. Jackpot, isn't it? The man literally lived my dream, you guys! Hobbits of Flores after seeing The Lord of the Rings, I have become a huge Hobbit fan. I have seen all of their movies. Many people even believe that the species of Hobbits did exist in our world a long, long time ago. Archaeologists have further stirred this debate by claiming to have found the skeletal remains of a species known as Homo florensians in 2003. This species was discovered in a cave on the island of Flores in Indonesia, hence the name of Floresanes. And to many people's surprise, they resemble hobbits. The size of the skulls was short compared to that of humans. They found skeletal remains painted a picture of an individual with a small brain, big teeth, short legs, and long arms, with a height of approximately two feet. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the real life hobbit. To their disappointment, some scientists have debunked this theory by saying that these are the remains of humans who suffered from microcephaly, a medical condition in which the human brain of the baby stops growing, resulting in much smaller heads. However, the truth is still a mystery. Island of the Witches We have all seen movies or heard tales about medieval witches and how these evil women used to curse the entire town. Archaeologists discovered something fishy on a Swedish island known globally as Blue Maiden Island. Let me tell you beforehand that even before this discovery, the reputation of the place was quite notorious. It is a small island with a total area of around 1,000 meters and 86 meters above sea level. Many ancient relics related to witchcraft were found there. According to Swedish folklore, the place is said to be cursed by pure evil. It was presumed that the witches gathered there on Monday, Thursday to perform evil rituals and to worship the devil. Many sacrificial altars were also found that were used to carry out human sacrifices. Remains of things were also found that are used to perform black magic. This is an ancient stone labyrinth that is deemed to be cursed as it is thought that whoever will take a rock or pebble from that place will be cursed with evil forces. Daring Kuwu, the Hidden City not only some fossils or hidden treasures, but people have also found a full-fledged city hidden underground. In Turkey, near the province of Nivashar, a man discovered an ancient underground city in 1963. The man was renovating his home when he suddenly noticed some bizarre structure on what he thought was a tunnel behind his home, but it turned out to be a whole damn city. What will shock you the most is that it contained properly constructed kitchens, bedrooms, a school, a church, and even a cellar for the preparation of wine and oil. After some analysis, archaeologists concluded that the place was inhabited by nearly 20,000 people, with stone gates around to protect them from any invasion. The architecture of the place is remarkable, and that is what shocked the archaeologists the most. It even had a well-equipped ventilation system and a well to ensure that all the citizens have a supply to clean water. Nobody knows which civilization inhabited it, but a glimpse of how advanced some ancient civilizations were, then we give them credit. It is a very well-known site among tourists in Turkey. Shroud of Turin 
One of the most debatable and controversial archaeological discoveries of recent times is the Shroud of Turin. Now, what exactly is this piece of clothing? A shroud was discovered in 1353 AD, and since it has been a topic of discussion in Christianity, Christians believe that this shroud was used to cover the body of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion, and thus holds a great significance to the people of faith. The shroud is 4.3 meters long and 1.1 meters wide cloth of linen. It was first discovered by a knight. After it resurfaced, many people raised their concern over its authenticity. So the scientists started to analyze the debatable piece of clothing. Carbon dating results concluded that the shroud was made between the years 1260 to 1390. Many religious scholars responded by saying that the shroud had some pieces of modern fabric sewed in to preserve it completely. There is still a debate concerning this shroud between the scientists and religious devotees, and nothing has been proved so far. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber's pick is a picture of a 2,400-year-old chariot. Archaeologists in central China's Henan province have excavated a 2,400-year-old pit containing horses and chariots beside a tomb, possibly belonging to a lord. According to historians, it was the way for the rich to bury their priceless and sentimental possessions with themselves. Books made with human skin. Now this is something that would definitely shock you. This may sound fictitious, but it turned out that books made with human flesh aren't all that rare after all. Do you know that it is a proper practice known as anthropodermic bibliopegy? And it was quite trendy in the 19th century. What the heck was wrong with our ancestors? One such was found in the library of Harvard University. The staff there inspected this for a long time, and after analysis, it was confirmed that the book was made of human skin. Wow, kind of a cool plot for a movie, right? The book titled De Destinies de Lami was covered with the skin of a female mental patient who died of natural causes. Or did she? The writer, Arsini Jose, is said to have given the book in the mid-1880s to his friend, Dr. Ludovic Bulan, who apparently carried out the unusual binding. Incan Mummies The story of Incan mummies is truly sinister. What happened is that three Incan mummies were discovered on the 16th of March, 1999, by Johann Renard and his team during an archaeological expedition. These mummies were of the children who were sacrificed for religious purposes. For this sacrifice, they firstly drugged the children and then kept them in a 1.5 meter chamber beneath the surface of the ground, where they were left to die after a year of ceremonial rituals. Scientists are some serious magicians. The fellows were able to discover what the children ate during their yearly ritual processions by using biochemical analysis. It was deduced that they had a diet rich in cocoa, maize, alcohol, and llama meat. Substances were also found, as I told you before, that they were drugged before sacrifices. These were the most well-preserved mummies found to this date, as the hair of the children was braided perfectly as if they died yesterday. Terracotta Army The digging of a supposed well by a bunch of peasants during a drought led to a major archaeological discovery in the province of Shaanxi of northwest China. After the digging in March 1974, an enormous number of clay figurines were discovered. Well, at first, they had no idea that they found the first evidence of what would turn out to be one of the most significant discoveries of modern times. All these figurines were found near the tomb of Qin Shi Huangdi, who was the emperor of China in 221 BC. These were not figurines, but underground treasures for historians. There was an entire army of life-size terracotta soldiers and horses. All of these were buried for more than 2,000 years. Three separate pits contain more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots and 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses. 
All of them were made by the emperor as a tribute to his soldiers. What is shocking is that thousands of these clay soldiers had unique facial expressions and were positioned according to rank. That's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching the whole video. See you next time.